Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and most respect to the brothers' labor and sincerity in this truth worldwide to wake up the elect of the children of Israel. So, Brother Dawadah, coming to you with another lesson. This lesson is going to be entitled Simply Tithe. So, we got to understand, man, tithing is a 10% of all the increase that Yahweh Shah has given us, you know. And it shouldn't be uh, a laborious or difficult thing for us to do because we know that all things come from Yahweh Shah, Shah, even the job that you work. And you have certain Israelites, you know, once they come into the knowledge of the truth, saying that tithing was food well yeah back in that time tithing was food because we had our own land we had our own sovereignty but in this kingdom that we're currently under guess what tithing is money and we're going to prove that in this lesson but this lesson was inspired by the precepts that you see in front of you right now I was reading in uh, the book of Sirach or Ecclesiastes and I was in uh, chapter 7 and uh, ran across these three precepts as an insulin spark, you know, a lesson on tithing. All right? So let's jump into the lesson. This is Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 7 and verse 29. Fear the Most High with all thy soul and reverence his priests. You see that? So right off top, it's telling you in the same breath, of you fearing the most high you supposed to reverence his priests you know the prophets you know that he sent out these are the men you supposed to reverence because he speak through who the prophets let's prove that and then we'll jump back to ecclesiastes he speak through his men man he's not going to come down and sup with you like that all right this is hosea 12 and 10 i have also spoken by the prophets and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. You see that? So you speak by who? The prophets. All right. Let's go back to Sarah. Is it Sarah? Or uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 29. Fear the Most High with all thy soul and reverence his priests. Priest simply means prophets, man. And prophet simply means to say before. Love him that made thee with all thy strength and forsake not his ministers. You see that? You don't both forsake the ministers of Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat. Why? Because he put them here to wake you up to who you are through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat. To what? Get salvation. Lord willing. Right? Fear the Lord. See that? Fear the Most High. And honor the priest and give him his portion. Give who his portion? The priest. As it is commanded thee, the first fruits and the trespass offering and the gift of the shoulders and the sacrifice of sanctification and the first fruits of the holy things. Right? And we know we can't give a trespass offering because Yahweh sent Yahweh shot for that. All right, he's the mediator, or the gift of the shoulders, or the sac sacrifice of sanctification, you know, or the first fruit of the holy things, which is the lambs. But we can give the first fruits, all right, which is of our increase, of our labor, all right. Scriptures say that what the harvest is plenty, but the labors are few, you know, and, and the labor is worth his, his hire, his reward. Matter of fact, let's get that. Uh, Luke 10 Luke chapter 10 and start at verse 2 therefore he said unto them the harvest truly is great but the laborers are few pray ye therefore that the most high of the harvest pray ye therefore the most high of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest right and let's jump down to verse 7 and in the same house remain 
eating and drinking such things as they give for the laborer is worthy of his hire go not from house to house see that the laborer is worthy of his hire who's laboring in this harvest what is it is the man that Yahweh has set up to to bring you to the wisdom of the understanding of the scriptures all right so the laborers are worthy of his hire and we're under the what the order of Melchizedek right Let's go to 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy 5. Let's start at 17. All right. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honors, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. You see that? Let's read this again. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. You see that? Who labor in the word and doctrine. For the scripture saith, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn, and the laborer is worthy of his reward. You see that? The laborer is worthy of his reward. All right? You got to actually pay your tithes, man. It's commanded of you. Matter of fact, let's go to the book of Numbers. And I have this queued up. Because we're on the order of Melchizedek, right? This is Numbers chapter 18 and verse 24. But the tithes of the children of Israel, more importantly, the lack of the children of Israel, which they offer as a heave offering unto the Most High, I have given to the Levites to inherit. Therefore, I have said unto them among the children of Israel, they shall have no inheritance. All right. Well, let's go into this word heave. Strong's H. 86.41. Strong's H. 86.41. Terumah. Terumah. Terumah, right? It says contribution, offering, a heave offering, any offering, an offering to the Most High, an offering of grain, money, etc. You see that? Contribution. You see that? Let's go back. It says, but the tithes of the children of Israel which they offer as a heave was a heave offer it could be money etc you see that until the most high i have given to the levites so that money offering is supposed to who go to the levites this is in the law right to inherit therefore i have said unto them among the children of israel they shall have no inheritance and the most high spake unto moses saying Thus speak unto the Levites and say unto them, When they take of the children of Israel the tithes which I have given you from them for your inheritance, then shall ye offer up the heave offering of it for the Most High, even the tenth part of the tithe. You see that? So your, your tenth that you're supposed to offer in tithe is supposed to go to who? The priests. And who are the priests nowadays? Let's get it, man. Let's go to the book of Hebrews. Because, see, Yahweh shall say he make all these things come together perfectly, man. Let's start at verse 1. Hebrews 7 and 1. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, king of who? Peace. The priest of the Most High. See that? Who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings. And blessed him to whom Abraham, so like it, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace. All right? So Abraham, what? He gave a tenth part of all his increase that he got from the slaughter of the kings, right? 
And let's jump down to verse 17. Right? Matter of fact, let's go to 14 and then go to 17. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet far more evident for that after the similitude of Melchizedek, there ariseth another priest who is made not after the law of a carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life. For he testifieth, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. You see that? So we are priests after who? The order of Melchizedek. Forever. He said he's going to raise up the children of Israel to be what? Kings and priests. See that? So once again, man, tithing is scriptural and tithing is what? Monetarily. So you're supposed to give your tithe, not begrudgingly, man. All right? It shouldn't be a... a it shouldn't be something that, that is laborious to you or difficult for you to do. Why? Because Yahweh Bashar Shah has blessed you with that, whatever job you have. All right? And this is not just for, for, for the brothers and sisters out there. This is also for me. All right? Lord willing, has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.